I wonder if, as we close this conversation, I wonder if there's a piece of poetry you'd be willing to... Well, I, I have in the office, I just happen to have some poems um, that uh, really reflect the um, experience of the civil rights movement and being in SNCC. For example, um, and, and I have these because I, I recently wrote a paper for the um, OAH at the recent... Uh, March uh, conference. It was about the experience in Alabama, and um, I included some poems in that talk. But this one is written to Ruby Doris, who was uh, one of the leaders. You asked earlier about whether I was a leader. No, I was not a leader. Um, but Ruby Doris Smith was a leader um, and uh, died uh, uh, very early while we were all still in SNCC in the South. And I wrote this poem to her, uh, to Roby Doris. From your long, overwhelming fatigue came the energy of a dozen organizers calling you for a hundred reasons to make a hundred complaints, followed by a hundred requests to say we need, need, need. Can we have? And your voice hoarse, disciplined, trying to say yes, to give everything. Your eyes knowing, understanding the hunger, the loneliness, the failure, the triumph and desperation of the field. We hold you just as you were. We hold you tenderly in our hearts and in our history. It was Ruby Doris's responsibility to sort of mete out resources to people working in the fields, right? She was in the Atlanta office. We would call her saying, oh, we don't, we're desperate for, right? Mm -hmm. um, can we have more money for? Um, but we have a car that needs repair, you know, whatever. Um, and I imagined her on the other end of the phone, you know, trying to... It's a beautiful poem. Thank you. And earlier in our conversation, I talked about uh, our realization as SNCC workers that the elders, our elders with whom we were organizing, understood very well the conditions of their oppression and had some very good ideas about what to, you know, what to do about it. But I tried to get that in um, Alabama Farmer's Dialectic, which is the title of this mm -hmm. poem. And I made an effort to try to do dialect um, or to approximate the sound of the sharecroppers that we worked with. Alabama Farmer's Dialectic. Now I see it like this. You see that tree out there? It's a good shade tree in the summertime. And you know, don't nobody like to see the shade tree cut down. Ain't that right? Well, we been that tree for them folk for a lot of summers, working in the sun, making it cool and easy for them. Well, I can't be no shade tree all my life. That tree got to come down one of these days. Ain't that right? So that's... Uh, a little bit of an effort to get at that, mm -hmm. understanding that vision, which was just a shining light for us as, you know, young people in our 20s or whatever. And then I'll just read this last one also from this period, Selma 1965. I mentioned to you that I went down with a group of students, I think I mentioned mm -hmm. to you, yes. um, and we set up a freedom school right on the fringes of the housing project there in Selma. Selma, 1965. Amid the ghosts of the civil rights marchers in Selma, in the summer so hot, the children sang in the paths of the afternoon showers, before I'd be a slave, I'd be buried in my grave. From the Freedom School window, we watched them come across the lawns of the housing project, down the rain-rutted dirt roads, through the puddles, waiting cool for bare feet. Touch that dripping bush, break a leaf and smell the pungency of green. They were tattered angels of hope, one plait caught at an odd angle, standing indignantly, a ripped hem hanging like a train behind them, gray knees poking through denim frames, dancing the whole trip. They performed their historic drama against the set of wet brick project homes. 
So I think that's really Beautiful. enough. Thank you. Thank you. It's wonderful. Though. It's been a joy. I just really want to thank you for, for taking this good extended period of time to talk about You're welcome. These I'm issues. very happy to do it.